Tim, tonight was the first Kern County Fair Board of Directors meeting since allegations that the fair misused state funds and violated multiple laws. The fair is yet to comment directly about whether these allegations are true. I asked the fair CEO that exact question. Here's what happened. Do Mike have you heard from the state about the investigation? Some of the rollers. Yeah, so, Christine? Oh, yeah. Mike, can yeah, I talk to you about the audit? Mike Olcott, CEO and general manager of the Kern County Fair, ducking 23 ABC's questions about alleged misuse of funds by his fair. I know you're adjourned. Okay. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, Blodgy. And the chairman of the fair's board getting heated. Now that we know each other's first names and you know I've known you for a long time, are you happy? No, okay. I'm not well, happy. Well, that's too bad. And I'm going to make a big issue out of it. Too. Good girl. Yeah, go. The dramatic moments coming as the Kern County Fair Board of Directors held its first meeting Monday after a California Department of Food and Agriculture audit detailed that a California County Fair misused state resources and violated multiple state laws. The Kern County Fair is not mentioned by name, but the Kern County District Attorney's Office saying fair board members confirmed to them that the audit was likely about the Kern County Fair. The fair Excuse me. As fair officials left the building, many members of the public who showed up and wanted answers, leaving unsatisfied because the board members refused to answer questions about the alleged misused funds. I don't think they wanted to hear from us, and I think they were defensive, and it's regrettable. The entire conduct of this meeting leaves a very bad taste in one's mouth in terms of how they are actually addressing the problems. The problems, according to the audit, include over $300,000 in misused funds, including $132,000 in credit card purchases with no receipts and $30,000 in excessive and illegal travel expenses. The report also saying several employees spent most of their work hours doing side jobs. My specific boss pressured everybody in the maintenance department. Chris Madelin was in the audience at the meeting. He says he's a former employee of the fair and calls himself one of the whistleblowers who triggered the investigation. He explains one example where he was asked to fix a truck that belonged to his boss's friend. So I got a box of parts saying, hey, can you do this? Well, it wasn't a fair thing, but I did it on fair's time and the guy gave me a check later on. Medellin, like many others, felt that the board should be more transparent about how taxpayer money was spent. Board member Lucas Esperaqueta is saying that's not an issue. We're operated like a business. Our revenue, the tickets from sales, the tickets from parking, our take from concessions, all that is, is part of our revenue and paying all of our employees is part of our expenses. We don't receive or abuse any taxpayer money and because it's the money that we generate here at the fair. Now we asked other board members for comment. All of them turned us down. The Kern County District Attorney's Office is investigating the fair following the audit. The DA says there may be possible civil and or criminal charges filed. In the Live Center, Austin Westfall, 23ABC, connecting you. Austin, thanks.